Hey guys, what's up? So today is January 4th. Uh, your girl is going back to the club. I did stop dancing because the club that I was working at, I didn't really like that club so much. My home club has just opened back up on the 2nd of January. They closed down for many reasons, but one of the reasons was, you know, the pandemic hit. So now, since it's open, your girl is going back. And I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like because they renovated the whole thing. And I'm nervous, but I'm ready to go. I was nervous at first only because I felt like I gained some weight and I didn't feel good about myself, but no matter what's going on in your life, no matter how big you get or how small you get, just appreciate yourself because at the end of the day, we are not meant to look alike. We are not meant to be built alike. Like, it's so many women out here going to get procedures done to their body and I'm not knocking them. They all starting to look the same to me. So even though I'm very self-conscious on a little bit of weight that I did gain when I am at that club, I won't look like everybody in that club. So I'm not build a bitch like... I'm built the way God built me. So sometimes we tend to get confused in the world that we live in because you think that you have to look like a certain person or look like a type. And that don't be the case. When it's all said and done, what's for you is for you. To know that I'm in a mix with these girls who spent a lot of money on their bodies and I'm getting to a bag just being myself and being natural. I'm not going to hold you like I never thought about getting surgery done to me i never thought about a bbl because i like my little ass um but i did think about getting breast implants once again i'm not going to go spend thousands of dollars on my body i'm not saying that i would not probably get breast implants later on but as of right now i'm not going to spend spend no kind of money on me i'm not like not on my body anyway so i might as well just sign up for a gym try to eat better than what i do because y'all know y'all be seeing me with a coffee and my coffees be sugared the fuck down <laughs> it do we're going to the club so i'm just getting off from the post office but today is january the 5th and i told you guys that i was going back to the club and tonight is the night that i'm going back to the club i am trying to like tame these little flyaways they're gonna be fixed by time it's time to go out it's only seven, so I'm just gonna give myself a little time to relax, unwind, and then we out. This is what really goes on in the girls' locker room at the strip club. You know, we be doing our shifts, our stretches, touch your toes, cause we know, you know. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's go. guys welcome back welcome back welcome back today is january the 6th and last night i did go back to the club the club was very slow um i didn't even do a money count like i left out with a hundred dollars so i was thinking maybe i should make this video a little longer because i go back on sunday during the day um last night it was nighttime i guess since the club is just had a soft grand opening on monday the second it's like people are still trying to get in the groove of things like i said i made a hundred dollars uh it's better than nothing <laughs> better than me just sitting home doing nothing and i really didn't even go on stage probably like once or twice so a hundred dollars and it was free sounds like a plan to me we will probably make this video longer i think i'm gonna wrap this video up 
January the 8th because that is Sunday. So I think after that day, after we see what the money's looking like during the day, then I'm gonna close this video out. That's me trying to do my eyebrow with this big piece of tape. So I'm getting ready because we about to try a day shift today at the strip club. Everybody been saying a day shift has been good. And like I said, this is like the club just started opening back since January the 2nd. And it has its ups and its downs. And I'm just praying for, I'm gonna manifest just some coins. Please don't take me seriously this piece of tape. Like y'all gonna see the after look because right now I look crazy as hell. Your girl is dressed. I just threw on something light. I ain't doing too much because I'm going to a bar. When it comes to the club, I used to do day shift. I used to be a day girl when, before I even became a postal worker. Like I used to just want to be in and out when it came to the club. I really didn't care too much about the night crowd because they were just wild. They just wasn't trying to spend no money. They wasn't my type of party. So now I have to kind of like squeeze in the shifts during the day when I'm off from work or when the um, post office is closed. So that's when I'm gonna work. I work on my day off or I work on Sunday, but I'm never gonna be doing too much. I'm never gonna be trying to squeeze myself into the club. Like I'm kind of past that stage of the club. Every now and again, I get, you know, this urge to go back and dance. And right now I'm, I'm at that urge. Let's see. I make sure my lashes stay intact because Sometimes these things want to do its own thing. So, how I do? How my makeup looking? I didn't know if I was going to put on a lipstick or if I just wanted to be lip gloss. I think for the most part, I'm going to do a lip gloss because, you know, when men see you with lipstick on sometimes, that could be a no-no. Especially if they're married because they don't want no evidence. They don't want to smell like liquor. They don't want no you know, type of strong perfume scent on their clothes. So when they go home, they wife be smelling them like a damn hound dog. So, you know, just get like a body mist. Like, you know, Victoria's Secret, spray yourself. I mean, that shit still be lingering too, but it ain't as hard as, you know, like my YSL perfume or my Versace. Like things in that sort. Like you don't want that kind of fragrance on your body. Cause you know, them guys be like, uh-uh, they be thinking they going to divorce court when they get home, so. So, my shift is over. I would do a money count now, but I am running late. I gotta go home, and when I get there, that's when I'm gonna do the money count. Today was better than the first day, actually, when I came back on Thursday, so... We're gonna see how it is. I changed in all my ones and I have nothing but big bills. So stay tuned for this count. Hey guys, so I am home now and don't mind my mannequin head cause you know, she be holding my wigs when I do be making them. Today is my second day that I actually went to the club. The first day was January 5th. That was their day when they got back their liquor because I don't know if I told y'all, when they opened back up, it was BYOB. So they had to wait till their liquor license came in and all of that, and it did, and it came. And when I did go back that very first night on Thursday, that was the day where they had liquor. So on that day, I did not make no money. It was very slow, but I didn't even like really feel no type of way that I didn't make money. And that was only because I was so scared and nervous to even get back on the pole. So it was just like me basically trying to get over my fears. And I did, but on that day, I, I make envelopes now and that was the fifth of this year and I only made a hundred dollars so that's why I didn't do a money count um but today is the second day that I did go to the club I was like manifesting the shit out of making some money today I was like I'm gonna make some money I'm gonna make some money so when we get there nobody is there so the club is like open we opened up nobody's coming in then two customers walk through the door. I'm like, mm, being negative, but I just was manifesting that I'm going to make some money. So I just was like, you know what? Give it a shot. So one of the dancers went over there to one of the guys, but I wasn't even gonna go over there to him anyway. It was just something about him, his mood, his whole aura. It just wasn't working with mine. So I wasn't even gonna take that risk. I seen one of them go over there. Then 
it was another one, but he was like young. So sometimes they'd be like iffy if they got money or if they don't. So before I can even head over there, the other dancer sat right on down. So I just was like chilling. So next thing you know, the manager asked me to do my schedule for next month. So I was filling it out or whatever. So I'm just steady peeping. Like I like to observe everything and I really do be like listening and paying attention. So I ain't saying nothing, but I hear them too. You know, the younger dude and the girl talking or whatever. And he seemed like he really liked the hair. So I was just like, all right, my loss. And, you know, he bought her drinks and he was like, they was conversing with one another. And I was like, all right. So these two guys are sitting at the bar and they both got someone by them. So I'm just like, all right. So I'm just like, man, just keep manifesting. Just, just don't give up because it only take one customer to even see something. So I'm like, all right. So next thing you know, as I'm filling out my um, schedule for next month, he turns to me and was like, hey, you want a drink? I'm like, sure. Like, <laughs> I might as well get a drink if I ain't gonna make no money. He then added me into their conversation and the girl he's sitting with, she's really cool because I know her. So we all was just going back and forth. And the next thing you know, I heard him ask her to do a dance. And she was like, sure. But he was like, do you mind if she come? And she was like, no. So he wanted to do a double dance. And the one thing I did like respect about the girl, cause she could have been on her hating shit, but she know we all was in there to make money. And she seen that it was only two customers. So she was like, nah, like I fucked with her. She's cool. So, and she was like, you with it? And I'm like, what's up? Like we did to make a bag. We did to make some money. So it's only two people here. We don't know when other customers is going to come because today is Sunday. It is football season. So I was like, all right, cool. So I just let her leave because at the end of the day, he was going to do a dance with her first. And, you know, I ain't trying to step on the white toes. Like, I appreciate the fact that she brought me in because she could have been like, no, but she didn't. So we goes back there. We do the dance or whatever. And after that, she just got her money. Next thing you know, she straight left him because somebody else came in. So at this point, she just going hop, hop, hop. And I think he felt some type of way that she did do that because he was like, damn, like I got you a dance. Like I was getting you drinks. And you know, sometimes customers can be in their feelings, but they be trying to act like they not, but they do. So me, I be just chilling. Like I like to, you know, just see, see how it's going to go. So I went back over there and sat with him. And next thing you know, we was kicking it up. Then next thing you know, he took me in the back and we did more dances. And then next thing you know, I had to go on stage. And next thing you know, he brought me back down. I don't know if he was trying to make her jealous, but, uh, I was just getting to a bag. So tonight I made a little bit something. Um, I turned in all my ones. So I got big bills and this is what we got. One, two, three, four, five ones. One, 100, 200, 300, 50. So tonight was a better night. You guys like this content because I am trying my hardest to bring you guys more content. I'm trying to upload more than one video a week. So please bear with me, but your girl is coming back with this content. So if there's any videos that y'all want to see that y'all feel like y'all need me to, you know, touch on, don't be afraid to leave them comments down below and just, just saying, I'm just, I'm just saying, don't forget to subscribe to your girl's channel because I'm going to be dropping these gems every time. And I appreciate the ones that be writing me in my comment section, asking me for advice or asking for my opinion because Trust me, I'm going to give it to y'all. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be raw about it. So, see you guys.